Popularity. The fact that something or someone is liked, enjoyed, or supported by many people. In the Grimm brothers' telling of Hansel and Gretel, the two children live with their father and their stepmother. The family is very poor and can't afford to feed all of them, so the stepmother proposes that they take the children out into the woods and leave them there. The father, after some arguing, eventually agrees. Hansel and Gretel overhear this, and Hansel tells Gretel that he has a plan. The next morning, the two children are given a small, tiny piece of bread each. Hansel takes his and breaks it into little tiny breadcrumbs to leave as a trail so they can find their way back to the house. Come nighttime, when the children are all alone, they decide it's time to head back. When they go to find the breadcrumbs, however, they've discovered that the birds have eaten them. Hansel and Gretel wander through the woods, hungry for three days. They're about to give up hope when they discover a house made of cakes and sweets. As they are both gnawing away at the house, an old lady discovers them and invites them in to eat and rest. Unbeknownst to them, however, the old lady is a witch and plans to eat them. She tucks them into bed, and the next morning locks Hansel up in a stable and forces Gretel to help fatten him up. However, witches have bad eyesight, so whenever she goes to check Hansel's finger to see if he's fat yet, he presents her with a small animal bone instead. Eventually, the witch gets fed up and decides she'll just have to settle for Gretel. She asks Gretel to check to see if the oven is hot enough by sticking her head inside. Gretel, however, sees through this poor plan and asks the witch to demonstrate. She then pushes the witch inside the oven and burns her alive. She releases her brother from the stable, and together they collect all the riches found around the house. They then return home to their father and discover that their stepmother is dead, and he has not slept a bit since he left the children out in the woods. Together, they live happily ever after. We took to Instagram the question, what is the motivation behind killing someone in order to gain popularity? The responses varied, but the ones that stuck out to us were, they're the only things standing in your way. They think good things will happen to them after the murder. They want to get attention. All publicity is good publicity. Being recognized, even if it's for killing someone, means a lot to them because they never receive that attention. All of these are closely related to a true crime case we researched, known as the original Hansel and Gretel. Back in 1618, in the mountains of Germany, there lived a woman named Katharina Schroederin. She was a phenomenal baker who sold her goods to the town of Nuremberg. Many people saw her recipes, but she kept them a closely guarded secret. It was in Nuremberg that Katharina met Hans Metzler. A baker himself, Hans noticed that whenever she was in town, his sales took a nosedive. Her baked goods were tastier than his, and therefore more popular. He longed to get his hands on her recipes, so he began to flirt with her. He showered her with praise, and then he proposed a marriage to her. If she was his wife, she would have to share her recipes with him. She grew suspicious of his motives and called off the romance. Enraged by her rejection, he spread rumors that she was a bakery witch. He attempted to ruin her business. Restraining orders didn't exist yet, so Katharina fled, leaving everything behind except her recipes. She moved to a hidden house in Spessart Forest near Frankfurt. Hans and his sister Grant followed her to the secluded home in Spessart Forest. With his sister as an accomplice, Hans broke into Katharina's home and murdered her. The siblings then stuffed her body into her own oven and burned her remains. They searched the house looking for Katharina's recipes. They couldn't find anything. The Metzler siblings were soon arrested for the murder of Katharina Schroederin, and at their trial, Hans insisted that Katharina was an evil witch who attacked him and tried to eat him. He claimed that he murdered her in self-defense. Gret backed up his story. Because this was back when if more than one person cried witchcraft, you had to believe them, the judge declared them innocent. So 
So that's the story of Hansel and Gretel and Katharina Schroderich. In our next episode, we'll be discussing the unfortunate happenings of the Snow Queen with a special twist. I'm Annie Guedes. I'm Adriana Diaz. And I'm Lily Harrison. And this has been Once Upon a Crime.